Today's a good day, let's make it a great workout. Our first exercise is the half kneeling chop lift. You'll get into half kneeling, one leg down, one leg up. Make sure you're nice and tall through the spine, chin pulled in, belt buckle toward the nose, neutral spine. With that weight in front of your chest, drop it down to your downside leg pocket, brush it across your chest, pushing up into the air to the opposite side. Move two is your goblet squat. You should know this one by now. Grab that weight, hold it in front of your chest. Start by standing tall, tucking that tailbone a little bit. Hinge those hips back and think about sitting back into a chair and then stand up tall, squeezing those glutes and pulling that belt buckle up towards your nose as you stand tall. Move three is your half kneeling pull apart. Get into your half kneeling position, one leg up, one knee down. Make sure you're pulling that belt buckle toward the nose so that you're in neutral spine, tall spine. Grab that band and simply pull it apart to create a letter T with your arms and chest and slowly bring it back. Tips and tricks coming your way for the half kneeling chop lift. One, make sure that you're switching sides. Two, you're taking that weight and brushing it across your chest, not reaching those arms too far out as it'll cause you to excessively arch your back. Always remember to think about rotating your shoulders in a barrel and you're not swaying your hips from side to side. Look, you know the goblet squat by now, but let's be extra cautious that we're keeping the feet flat throughout the entire movement. Um, if you are getting some back tightness, it probably means you're going down a little too low and then when you're standing tall, that you're really arching that back and not tucking that tailbone, squeezing the glutes. To change it up, go slow down and slow up. Again, because we're half kneeling, make sure you're switching sides. With this move, it's really, really easy as you're pulling apart to want to hike those shoulders up toward the ears. Be extra cautious that you're keeping those shoulder blades down into your back pockets as you pull that band apart and then control it on the way back. You only have nine minutes to go, so keep working hard with quality and control, and I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>
We made it. Half kneeling chop lift with the kettlebell. Goblet squat, five seconds down, one second up. Half kneeling pull apart. So we got a mix of difficulty in there. Half kneeling chop lift in the principles video. Half kneeling, like always, we've done it enough, you know now how to execute it. It goes from your pocket in a way, kind of creating a seatbelt type pattern across your body. You can flip it up, hang it down, use different weights. Make sure you're rotating your shoulders, lower body stays stable, it gets stuck in cement. The goblet squat is your typical goblet, but it's a five second down. So take your time the way down. A few times there I rushed it, but it's easy to do when you're tired and it catches up on you. So five seconds down, one second up. Make sure that up is with good quality and form control. Lastly, half kneeling again, but now band pull apart. We've done this in the past in the earlier parts of the program in phase one. So pull apart, right? Just remember, keep these down, not way up in your ears. There you go, solid workout. Not too complicated. You follow along with me anyway, right? Um, we'll keep adding on more to it. Keep it going. Thanks.